my lovelies welcome back my name is pinky for those of you guys that are new my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my lovelies here we are doing another spell for you guys quick fun fact i was actually in the process of doing a um a contract right that has been in the works for quite a while now and um so i needed that extra push and I did that, let's say, two months ago, something like that. And, uh, yeah, it, it was done. <laughs> it's a done deal. So, anyways, I was actually having a conversation with a sister of mine. And I told her uh, she was needing a little money push. And I told her to do this. And she was like, hey, why don't you do it on your YouTube so that I can watch it and know exactly how to do it. So, here we are. This is why I'm doing this video for you guys so you guys can um, help you with anything that has to do with finances. Okay, so to the needy greedy, this spell is for those of you guys that are needing that extra push for money or finances. Now, this can also be done when you're needing a certain outcome in, that is going to be to your benefit when anything that has to do with any type of business endeavor. This could be a contract. This could be a negotiation. Whatever it is, you can do this and you will get amazing results. Of course, if you're doing this for money, you're trying to get a job or you're trying to make more money or to pull in more finances, this is definitely going to help you guys. Now, what you're going to need is very, very simple. We're going to be using water. Obviously, the element of water is very powerful, very important when we're talking about spiritual energy type of work, um, obviously energy or money is an energy. It is energy. A lot of people have this fixation on seeing it as just the material when in reality, in order for it to be able to manifest in your uh, physical, meaning here in the 3D, um, it is very important to obviously uh, connect or align yourself to that energy, understanding that money is energy, you guys you cannot be able to bring in more abundance or more success or more wealth or more opportunities if you are not aligned to that energy. So one of the things is majorly important to understand that money is not just the physical, it is also money is energy as everything else is, right? So when you can connect to that on an emotional level, understanding that if you're wanting or craving or desiring more abundance, more money, it means that you have that within yourself. You are recognizing it because if not, your conscious mind wouldn't understand that you want more money. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, moving along. Um, I will be making more videos about manifestations for those of you guys that are a little bit iffy or a little bit scared to dabble into magic. Uh, there is also other ways of manifesting, but... Obviously, this is a hands-on, needy-greedy, uh, seeing the results quicker. So here we go. All right. So you, what you're going to need is water, like I said, a glass. You're going to need a bill, a dollar bill, or any type of denomination, preferably dollar bill. Why? Because it circulates more. Um, so you're going to need a bill of wherever country you're from. You're also going to be needing the top of the pineapple. So you're going to need a pineapple, as you guys can see here. It's a little bit brown and right in the center, it's green. Obviously to the bottom, you can see that it's still um, it's still alive, basically. The reason why I'm using this is because I've come to realize that it becomes more powerful for me like this only because, um, so we have, you know, altar offerings that we do to our saints, to our spirits, um, to the deities that we work with, etc. So there's offerings that we provide. So one of the offerings that I'm constantly giving my saint, Saint Simon, is pineapples. And why? Because I use it for spiritual baths for myself and for my protection. So uh, this is an offering that was in his altar. And as I was noticing that it was starting to dry up, um, knowing in back of my mind on a subconscious level, I need to get him uh, some new ones. And then I had this conversation with my sister and I was like, you know what? I actually have a pineapple in my altar. And as anything that has to do with spirituality, for those of you guys that are in the practice, obviously, you know that whatever you put in your altar, whatever you give to your saints, to your spirits, to your deities, 
um, it is that much more powerful, just like the roses, flowers that you offer them. I always tell you guys, never toss that out because it is extremely powerful. The energetic magnitude of energy that it carries, it is palpable. And those are what you should be using for yourself, on yourself, for protections, for cleansings, for whatever it is that, whatever work you're doing for self-work. So anyways, that is the reason why I'm using this because it is extremely powerful when it is from my altar. So um, I was kind of bummed when I see it and I was like, oh my God, it's not going to work. But then I seen that it has green in the very uh, center of it. Once I cut it, I was able to see that it is in fact still very, very alive. So we're going to be using that excited about this okay so like i said it's very simple you're going to need a dollar bill whatever denomination uh in your country i'm using the dollar bill because it circulates more and you're going to be using the top of a pineapple um and some water and of course a glass now make sure very crucial and very important so that's what you're going to need let's get to the needy greeting you're going to get the dollar bill and you're going to need to pass it all around you, right? All over your body, all over your hands, all over yourself, from your head all the way to the bottom. Why do we need to do this? Because we're charging our energy with this bill so that it can extract or so that we can charge it. Basically, you're charging with your body, you're charging the dollar bill, you're activating it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pass it all around. Once you're done with that, you're going to... Um, the way you would, if I'm not sure what your practice is, but, um, the way we do it right in, in, in Catholicism is you say in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy ghost, you're going to do that three times. Now, if you're not a practitioner of that religion, um, then you would say a prayer, um, if you don't really necessarily, let's say you, you're not that um, much into faith, then what you're going to do is you're going to pass it from your forehead to your chest, to the right, to the left, and then you're going to kiss the bill. You're going to do it three times. So because I am, I'm going to say in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and then you're going to kiss the bill. So once you kiss the bill, you're going to then place it inside the water like this. You're going to put your prominent hand or, you know, the hand that you write with, if you are right-handed or left-handed, you're going to put it over that and you're going to chant. My purse, if you're a female, my wallet, if you're a man um, or whichever you use, my purse shall always remain full. What I spend shall return to me multiplied. My home abundance shall reign with success in all my business endeavors, growth in all aspects of my life, business and fortune as clear, purified, and without resistance, let the waters flow like the rivers to the sea. All the riches come to me freely and easily. Now, once you do that, you're also going to chant. As the moon rises high in the sky, I call upon the spirits to hear my cry. I open myself to receive wealth's flow and watch my finances steadily grow by the power of now. You can do this in a new moon or a full moon new moon or full moon or the waxing face. So you would say, um, in this part, you would say, by the power of the new moon, if you're doing it full moon, you would say by the power of the full moon, of the full moon's uh, light, may my money manifest with all its might as I will it, so it is. So I'm gonna repeat it again. As the moon rises high in the sky, I call upon the spirits to hear my cry. I open myself to receive wealth's flow and watch my finances steadily grow. By the power of the new moon's light, may my money manifest with all its might. As I will it, so it is. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do now is you're going to get the top of the pineapple and you're going to put it over inside the water. 
like this. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Now, this is an extremely powerful spell. As you can see, it is uh, very simplistic. I'm sure you probably have the ingredients at home. But it is the power that you put into it. It is the intention that you put into it that is going to flourish, you guys. And when I tell you flourish, it's gonna you're you're gonna start seeing money come in. Uh, your finances, your business endeavors are gonna start to uh, do amazing. Now, when do we get rid of this? You're gonna leave this in your altar, or you're gonna leave this in um, a safe place where you know no one's gonna touch it, no one's going to mess with it. Um, and you're going to leave it there. You're going to start you're going to start to see it grow. So when you start to see it show roots, you have two options. One is you can then take it out and bury it either in the entrance of your home in your grass area, uh in your rose bushes, wherever you know that you water and it's going to grow or it's going to flourish. Now, do you need to plant it? No, but like I said, you have two options. You can do that, which would be to bury it and bury it in a place where you know you're going to water, obviously nurture, right, your earth, so that you can continue experiencing this abundance. Now, the second option is you can plant it. Once you start to see it grow, you can plant it. If you have an apartment, if you uh, don't have, let's say, a garden or whatever, you can always get yourself a little plantern and grow it there and water it and take care of it. And like I said, you're going to see that your business starts to skyrocket. You start to do uh, or money starts to come in very easily. If you're in negotiations, you see that the negotiations will seal and close very quickly. Um, so whatever it is that you decide, you can plant it or you can bury it. Once that is done, what I do is... Um, so for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bury it because I already have another one that is already um, that I've already planted. So I'm going to bury this. But with the water, you can use the water. You can shower with it, meaning you can cleanse yourself with this water or you can keep it for safekeeping and you can use it whenever you need that extra push, that extra luck. Even in gambling, um, you can use this water. And the dollar bill, you would just take care of it. You would just carry it in your purse or in your wallet um, as a, um, what's the word? As an amulet um, that is going to bring to you more uh, financial stability. Now, if you decide to plant this, what I encourage you guys to do, which is what I did the first time, um, bury it with the dollar bill. So you bury the dollar bill, then you put this on top and then you plant it and grow it. Um, and like I said, just make sure that it just doesn't die, right? You're going to maintain it um, and you will start to see that all of this abundance, all of this um, opportunities and facilitation basically of making money is going to start to uh, become more prominent where you're going to have, you're going to see it with your very own eyes. Um, like I said, it's very simplistic to do. It is extremely powerful, you guys, and you will get amazing results. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's very simplistic. Obviously, yours is going to look probably a little bit more green, but I always like to integrate anything that is on my altar because it just gives it that much more strength and that much more power. I will put the uh, incantations in the description box below. If you guys enjoy our channel, definitely subscribe, uh, like, and share our videos. Comment. If you try this, let me know what your experience was. And as always, my lovelies, I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.